Ah, ¿Qué pasa contigo? I'm just in a friendly mood today for some reason. Right. Oh, right. The longer you play, the more people aim for keeps, if you get me. Hello, sirs. Oh, what do head? you have? Now, this is a meal. Hey, friend. Buenos dias, senor. Good meal, I hope. I need some food. Can I get a meal? Not bad, huh? Can I get food, please? I'd like some soup. Uh, the lobster best, please. Not bad, huh? Can I try the lobster best?
good meal, I hope. Nothing finer than prime rib. Not bad, huh? Can I get something to eat? Bien le bonjour, monsieur. Good meal, I hope. You got any rooms? Okay, room is all set. Just head upstairs when you're ready. Sure. Bonjour, monsieur. Je vous salue. Good morning. That's the way of it. Well, well. Yeah, that's that. That's we go. I had a fella come in here the other day. Hair slick yeah. back. Yeah. Sorry, ma'am. Mind yourself now. Everyone's a liar at this table. That's no lie. If you're in the mood for it, there's a game going on over there. Colin, how do you do? Don't let me rush you now. Place some food. Can I get a meal? My apologies. Senor. Hey, come on, boy. Relax. Howdy, sir. Some kindness. Please. You. Yes. Please. Coin. Please. Please. Uh, won't you lend a coin to a fella in need? Go get yourself something to eat. Sir. I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. 
groveling here in the dirt. Mister, sir, thank you for keeping us all safe, sir. Uh huh. Special one, one of the wonders of the age, man flight. Can I buy a ticket, please? You'll find the show in either of the doors beside me. with you one of the wonders of the age. In fact, one of the wonders of any age. Aerial navigation, or as we call it, man flight. Soaring through the heavens in flying machines so that even gravity itself can be mastered. An amazing and bewildering spectacle, but I assure you everything I am about to share with you is true. Now, we are all familiar with the potential cruelties and injustices of travel by horse, wagon, or locomotive. You are like to be beset upon by the infinite savagery of wicked men or bloodthirsty beasts that lurk in the bogs and plains of these tormented lands. But what if I told you for a certainty that man will soon be traveling across the heavens with wings like a bird? I am sure you think I am full of untruth, but I have not drank a pint of liquor in over a year, and I will do my utmost to demonstrate the veracity of my claims. For a hundred years, steamboats have engaged in passage along our great rivers, but a man by the name of Cecil H. Peck is in the process of inventing a steamboat for the sky. The only limitation on its speed at which the porter can shovel on more coal. But parts of the country where coal is scarce, oars can be used in the skies to hasten your voyage and keep the passengers active while they travel. Near Pittsburgh, there lives a telegraph man named Aldous Kinnear, who each evening after supper retires to his barn and dons the wings of a giant creature and takes to the heavens. You will be delighted to know he has traveled considerable distances, as many as 45 miraculous feet. Unfortunately, on his record-breaking flight, he knocked over a lamp and was consumed by flames. His two boys, Percival and Charles, have promised to continue their dear pa's legacy of sky flight. A whole heap of men are fashioning contraptions to take us to the heavens. A flying machine powered by a trusty donkey. Once you arrive at your destination, you can mount the saddle and ride away. With this incredible contraption, one can enjoy some popcorn and have the best view in the house at the next flogging or lynching. Stagecoach robbery will soon be a relic of the past when we enlist our animal friends as couriers well out of range of man's shooting irons. 
But the most remarkable thing I have to reveal to you comes from a northern man called Moss John Nichols. Imagine travel without ever getting into a saddle. No doubt you have heard accounts or seen in person the majesty of flight achieved by performers in the circus. Mr. Nichols has perfected the Sky Cannon. Passengers simply walk up the steps, relax into the barrel, and are transported with great flourish to the destination of their choice. The lame and infirmed who have been ravaged by scarlet fever or polio can once again call upon their loved ones. These newlyweds are all grown up, turned 17, said their wedding vows, and are off to visit New York City. And some very forward thinkers have told me that within 10 years, dear audience, any of us can take a holiday trip to the moon. I must disclose I'm quite partial to this mode of transport. Ships and horses are like to sour my stomach. The future is in the skies, my friends. Look to the heavens. We are going to join him up there by and by. Bye now. We'll see you next time. Saludos. Damn, I miss my old horse. What can I do for you? Impressive. No bruising at all. Thanks for your help. Move! Why don't you watch where you're going? Would you mean nothing by it? Hello there. Welcome to Horner & Co. Shelves are all labeled up top. You don't see something? Just check the catalog. Now, let me just look in here. Ensure all my dry groceries are fresh and well packed. You got it. Mm. 
<clears throat> okay. Something special about fresh goods. Nothing like fresh. A little sweetness can really brighten your day. So, find what you're looking for? Be sure to keep a bottle handy, I always say. Hmm. Never know when you'll need it. Perfect for traveling. Sure, keep looking. Okay, boy. Let's go. Good morning. You see this one here? <laughs> Want to be down window? Got something to say? Hello, sir. Whoa, all right. Just passing on through. Go on then. Okay, boy. in the head. Good morning. Morning, friend. Well done. See, pussy. Good morning, sir. Out of the way, please. Excuse me? What can I get you today? Good morning to you. You ain't gonna find a better deal than me. Good morning to you. Listen to this. Oh, oh, yeah, wonderful. Oh, I'm so... Oh, sorry. So now we're friends, okay? Don't worry, I'm just playing with you. I'm not I'm ready for you. Good morning to you. Cool. What do you have for me? Good morning. Hey, watch it. Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. A man from Big Valley once sold me a beautiful piebald buckskin. Said it wasn't the only one out there. But I never saw him or another one like it again. I saw another shootout this week. I can't take it anymore. Yeah, that can be reinforced, no trouble. Hello, 
Thanks, partner. Thank you. Hey, folks. Hello. Hello, mister. Oh, come now. A hidden face implies a darkness beneath it. A very fine choice. Exceedingly fine. I won't ask too many questions about its previous ownership. Something in mind? All I need are the right materials. Hey, friend. Madam, hey. back here. Hello, mister. Good morning, sir. Hello, ladies. Good morning, mister. Morning, sir. Say what you want about the people around here. They're friendly. Oh. Hey there. <clears throat> mister? Posse ride through town last Good week, dragging a couple of on my goddamn rope. You got the phone. Are you safe? Is a problem here. Morning, friend. Out of the damn way. Come on. Out it, partner. Why, hello there. Ticket for one, please. The theater of Wallure awaits you behind those doors. Thank you. 
Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists nothing like it anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low and the show held without a profit to me. It's true. For it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him. I bathed him. I shaved him from head to toe. He is truly a wonder to behold, presenting Benjamin Lazarus. and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught bedding my wife. <laughs> I joke. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. Oh, <laughs> I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old with all manner of feats of amazement, but none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. Oh, I, I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant Orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lalicola off my head. This is insane. Yeah! Off my head. Here we go! Careful. Yeah. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my god. Come on. Oh my god. Sweet Jesus. Oh my god. That always scares me. <laughs> now, observe. As I, the great Benjamin Lazarus, will do what no man has ever done and cheat death as if it were nothing. What is he doing? Christ. Let's do that again. Hmm? Alright. Hmm. Oh, I can't take it. You're pulling my leg. This is a bunch of 
dang balderdash. Ah. <laughs> a skeptic, hmm? I'm ah. And Benjamin Lazarus, I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival ruse. These bullets are 100% real. Wow. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my Did teeth. Is no one man enough? Come on! Bring somebody Stand out! Stand up and take a shot. Okay, okay. If nobody else is gonna expose this phony, then I will. I trust you are a good shot, sir. I can shoot a fly's wings off at a hundred paces. Excellent, my good man. Now, ready? <clears throat> take aim. Oh, oh, is too low. <clears throat> and fire. Oh, no, get teeth now. Gentlemen, death is just an illusion, after all. Hey, this is so... <laughs> yes! Yes! Truly a feat of incredibility. I told you that boy would bring you all manner of personal satisfaction. He certainly does me. <laughs> now, I discovered this next remarkable woman in a lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. She breathes fire! Yes, she does! And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest, she does emit fire from almost every orifice in her body. <laughs> Presenting Antoinette San Servino!
wonderful! Oh, incredible! It's still hot in here, huh? <laughs> incredible! Bravo! Though I must warn you, court her at your peril. She'll not nurse babies, she'd turn them into bacon! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. He liked that joke. Yes. I discovered this next woman in the kingdom of Poland where she sang by the roadside, subsisting on coppers tossed at her feet. Miss Robin Koninsky! joining us today. This here was a new song about a so-called modern improvement you may have become aware of called the telephone. Yeah! This new machine will carry a facsimile of your voice from Blackwater to Valentine to San Denis, and they propose to distribute them to all manner of places so that no matter where you are, somebody is looking for you. A wise man prayed that one day we may all eventually be gathered together in a heaven of everlasting rest and peace and bliss, except for the inventor of the telephone, because someone is always calling, saying, Hello! 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 I've got a little baby, but he's out of sight. I talk to him across the telephone. I can't see my honey, but he's mine all right. This gal just can't leave a man alone. Every single morning you will hear me yell. He sends you'll fix me up along the line. He connect me with my honey and I'll ring my bell. And this is what I say to baby mine. Blackwater calling. Hello. This morning through the phone they said he'd been with Bess and told me exactly where he's at. Now I'm headed out of town to his address. That man better hold on to his hat. I sure do worry that the wires might get crossed and it will separate me She is a siren, singing from the rocks as men bash into them, to their doom. Thank you for joining me for tonight's entertainment. I hope it has delayed for at least a moment the crushing and remorseless misery of this mortal coil. Good night, dream well, and come back soon.
Thinking about our next show? Me too. Can I get a room, please? Okay, room is all small. Just head upstairs when you're ready. <sighs> now, dear Randolph's been dipping his beak in the billiards. Everyone's a liar at this table. Huh? 